Today we're going to explore and review City 17 Transit Block Pre-War Pre -war Edition by Riley SV. So, um, we looked at some of Riley's pre-war City 17 maps before and they've been really amazing. So, of course, we're gonna go to the train station. Because here is where you spawn uh, when you're like beginning your half-life to career. And it looks beautiful. It looks uh, lush. Here we have a like, more modern car and uh, not so trashed. It looks like a European city. Very nice. So, let us explore the beautiful world before everything was ruined by the combines. Beautiful world, I mean, yeah. So, I guess we should get out of here. Oh, yes. And nobody is forcing us to pick up a can. That's, I'm happy to see that. Here we got some security and some areas like that and we can go out to the hall everything looks kind of similar but a little less trashy like a little bit more as it should be oh oh yes this looks nice a little bit empty but otherwise cleaned up no combine occupants. Some nice trees. A terminal hotel. We got souvenir shop. We can even go inside. And wait. Why do we always end up in the basement? Well, who knows. I'm sure there are loads of areas we could look at on, on this little map here. So we'll be checking here. So to close it off, so it's not like huge, we instead of having wars and like uh, walls, we instead have a building site, uh, a pile of dirt, <laughs> a car with, well, you know, working lights on and some beautiful scenery in the background. Well, that's that's a smart solution because I, I don't know if you played Half-Life 2, but uh, the combine has basically, you know, infested everything in whole life too so you can't go everywhere and it's like closed off using basically combine or barricades oh and a little nice hut to live in so the really nice thing the really good and wholesome part with these maps with the pre-war stuff is that there is nothing creepy about them there is no hidden creepy detail or stuff like that it's it's just a genuinely nice map it's like a, a nice little pre-war city area so we of course have to close off close off areas using the same method here and it works pretty well we got some good colors going here we have a clinic of some sort pretty empty but uh, well let us uh, let us just zoom out and see what we got here so we have a okay see here we actually have got a, a road system area I'm not sure we can even go down here yes we can using that area but uh, of course it's not very like far or accessible. There we got the oh look here we have the cube map. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so if we spawn stuff here, it will appear like everywhere. Yeah, well we're gonna get back to the main city. Uh, excuse me. Okay, all right. So here we have the train canal area. I guess we can spawn here too, possibly. And we can possibly run along these train tracks here because I don't know if you remember, but one, I think we escaped using this train hatchway. And running around here, we did for sure. But there were some shacks, and this was like a combine infested house. Like everything else in the city usually is. 
So here we got the, the train area, we got some train tracks going. And of course into the station, very big train station, looks very nice. <clears throat> yeah. I guess, I guess that's basically that, and uh, it's more of a screenshotting map. We have some roads, we could of course drive on a few of these roads, it's like not very far. Uh, but if you want that uh, pre-war Half-Life driving experience, maybe this is it. Who knows. Well, anyways, um, I suppose this is most useful for screenshotting roleplay, stuff like that. Um, but I really like the pre-war feeling of this, of this area. And isn't there like an apartment, like, if I remember correctly, isn't it like an area here we can actually, maybe it's not included here, but in the Half-Life map, I think it was an area or apartment in this, this area, right? Yeah, here it is, here it is. Alright, we need to check that out, that's important. So, supposedly we can walk in here, like normal people, we don't need to climb some weird stuff. Right, we got the staircase, everything looks nice, nothing weird here, that's good. Here we have hallways, very nice. Clean apartment, we got no furniture here, that would have been nice, with some of that furniture. And we also got... A staircase up to the top floors, I suppose. Nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Really nice little apartment. And we of course can walk up to the... Like, top floor, I guess. Because it's also important in the game. Yeah. In any case, I think that's basically that. Uh, so it's like a pre-war version of the map, and that's basically what it it what it what what it is and what it does. Can we? Oh yes, it's usable. Come on. It's important. Okay, good. It works. Ah, look, it's restored. That this is also an important part. Come on, we need to. Thank you. Good enough. Wow. Pre-war Half-Life Two swing experience. Isn't this amazing, ladies and gentlemen? Give me an extra like for. Uh, Pre-war swinging. Ah, how nice is that not? So, uh, good. Everything is back to normal as it should be. Let's uh, pause for a little screenshot on this area because it feels very iconic. Um, something like that, I think. And I will just say thanks a lot for watching. This has been your host Jim Odesim with Wednesday Map Reviews and this is Transit Block Pre-War City 17. And you should check it out, link in the description as usual. And this is made by Riley SV. So, thanks a lot, see you next week. Jim Odesim signing out.